stop. This is this is a scale called Phrygian Dominant. This is a scale that I've heard Joe Bonamassa use, Mr. Eric Gales, Mr. Joe Satriani, uh, Mr. Ingve Malmsteen. It's a it's a very in in the West. It's a very exotic sounding scale. Um, it's it's the fifth mode of the harmonic minor scale, and um, I'm going to use the same shape that I showed you guys in my harmonic minor video because these scales can be daunting to attack um, just by going off of a, a a piece of paper because the the shapes are just whack, man. But check it out. Um, you find your Phrygian dominant scale. So think of your parent key. We're going to do this in E because it's fun to practice modes in E because you can drown the low E string and, and just, just practice. So you find your Phrygian dominant scale by going, going to the fourth of the scale and playing this shape that I'm about to show you. So we're in the key of E. We're going to find the fourth on the top string, which of course is A. E, F, G, A for the fourth. And then we're going to play the same shape, the same harmonic minor shape that I showed you in my harmonic minor video, except it's going to sound like Phrygian dominant. Basically, what that shape is, I, I'm kind of doing a triplet pattern there, but this is. Those are the first four notes. The last, the last three notes are. So, so we're basically just repeating this in octaves. set up for a minute but that that last run was right I, I'm so used to I'm so used to playing these uh, these riffs like like really fast that, that sometimes I forget what notes I'm playing because I typically when I play these like like in a live situation it's more of a we don't we don't play any songs that necessarily have a Phrygian down a and chord progression like like E major to F major to D minor to E major. We don't have any songs that, that sound like that. So what I'll do is I'll drone an E a lot of times and just just run a scale really quick just to kind of disorient the audience. Uh, so when I'm playing this slow and actually thinking about the notes, um, it's 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 strange. But basically. I want you to think of E E Phrygian dominant as A harmonic minor. That's that's basically what I'm trying to say. So, but the difference is when you play the A harmonic minor scale, there's going to be an E in the bass, so the tonality is going to be E Phrygian dominant. So again. <laughs>
gonna show you that run slow one time. Okay. So there was there was a video that came out of, of Bonamassa and Mr. Eric Gales where they were they were going back and forth on a song called John Henry by Joe Bonamassa and what was interesting about it is to my knowledge they were just kind of playing over like a like a like a E like an E bass note in the in the jam and and they both went off and started trading licks in in Phrygian dominant in the key of E. And it was it was just strange to hear because you have you have two blues guys that are, are, are going off and playing this like exotic scale. I think I think a lot of times in in, in blues music and you know Vi, Satriani, Ingve, not so much Ingve because he's already kinda like neoclassical I think I think blues guys and, and rock guys will introduce this scale to uh, mix things up because we're you know we're so used to pentatonics we're so used to Dorian we're so used to Aeolian like just basic modes this mode like, like really it's kind of like a diminished scale it it just it throws people off guard and, and it's a it's a really cool sounding scale I I would describe it as I would describe this scale as more Middle Eastern sounding. Uh, whereas harmonic minor, to me, sounds more, more Latin and and classical, depending on how you play it. Um, like I said, though, when you see a chord progression where the one is major and the two is a semitone up, and it's also major, so like E to E to uh, E major to F major. That's that's kind of a tell that that it's it's Phrygian dominant. Phrygian dominant is going to work over that. Um, I know a lot of people right now are thinking, well, isn't that just plain Phrygian? Well, normal Phrygian has a minor one, so when you hear that that major one, and it's going up to a, uh, it's going up one fret to another major chord. That's that's a tell that. That it's Phrygian dominant. What'll happen is if you just learn that shape that I showed you. And you start doing the triplet thing with it what will happen is you'll start to visualize that scale across the neck and to me I I found that a lot easier instead of learning seven new scale shapes I found that a lot easier um, then also last thing I'll say about this is practice that that shape up the octave so so kind of kind of find you a pentatonic box we want to start there uh. so yeah man hope that helps uh i will see you guys next time